hi, I am back with another lip swatching all of my unused lipsticks video. I know I just did this not that long ago and I swear I didn't think I was such a lipstick hoarder but for some reason I really like lipsticks and my collection is way too big and it keeps growing and I can't say I'm complaining about it because I love lip products and especially now that I've gotten more into bullet lipsticks I want to try all the formulas, I want to see what they're all about so I have a bunch of stuff in front of me right here because I did make a ColourPop order when I ordered the Just My Luck palette, which is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And this video will be up soon, or the 3 Looks 1 palette with the palette will be up soon. So this is definitely going up first though, I'm pretty sure. Maybe the other one's coming up first, I'm really not sure. If the other video is up, I will link it in the corner. So I think we should get into these. So I'm first going to just take all of these out of the packaging because I still haven't done that. I also have some stuff from Octoly that I want to talk to you about, which is not really a lot, but just a couple of reviews that I need to get out of the way, and some of those are lip products, so let me just open these and then I will be right back. Alright, so I have a bit of everything here, and I have two lip liners, so I figure maybe I will start with the lip liners, and then I can put some of these on top of the lip liners if they match up. So let me just take off what I have on. I did not prepare for this very well, so one sec. Okay, so first off, I have two lip liners from ColourPop. I have two. The first one is in the shade Another Round, which is just a kind of nudey brown, I suppose you can call that. And then I also have another one, which is called Dial Up, which is a very, very bright kind of neon pink shade. And I just dropped a cap to one of them, but I will pick that up. So I think we should start off with the nude. So I'm going to put this on and then I will figure out if I have any of these lip products that I can put on top of this. But I'll put this on first so you can kind of see the color. And I will say I really like the ColourPop lip pencils. I think they are great and I really wouldn't be mad if I had the whole collection because I think these are awesome. So as you can see, this lip liner pretty much matches my lips perfectly. So I think this was a very good purchase because I'm pretty sure I could put any gloss that I wanted on top of this and be pretty happy about it. So I went to H&M the other day, kind of just to look at clothes and look around, and I stumbled across their makeup section, and our H&M has not really had the best makeup selection, but now they have really amped up all their stuff, and they have so many different things. So I ended up getting one of their lipsticks, and this is a very unique shade. I don't even really know how I would explain this. It's kind of like a poopy brown, but like lighter, I suppose. I don't know, but this is the kind of lipstick that I feel like would be way too light to wear on its own. So actually, I don't even know if this lip liner would really go with this. Maybe I'll just put it on anyway. I mean, because we're here to try on lipstick. It doesn't really matter if it matches. So actually, this is in the shade Biscotti, and I thought this was something that I just didn't have in my collection, and I also wanted to try this formula. So maybe I should swatch it on my hand first as well. Do you guys want to see hand swatches? Well, why do I ask? Because I'm going to do it anyway. So. This is Biscotti by H&M. Oh, and I actually swatched it right here too. I am so all over the place. I am so sorry about that. But this is what it looks like. So you can see it's a very, very nude kind of brown. So let's try to put this on. That's a very interesting shade. Super creamy though. Yeah, that lip liner is not ideal at all, but I actually kind of like the shade. I feel like with a bit of a browner lip liner, this could look really, really nice, especially with a green look, because I feel like the undertone of this lipstick is going to look really good with that. So the next lip liner that I have is the neon pink one from ColourPop, so I'm going to put this on, and then I think I have two lipsticks that might go with this, but let's put this on first. That is very Barbie pink. All right, so here is the lip liner on. Now the two lipsticks that I have is, uh, first I have one from Paul and Joe. This is absolutely stunning. Look at that packaging, like this is so cute. So this is one that I got from Octoly and this is in the shade 050. And this is very much like a kind of glossy lipstick and it doesn't have like a ton of pigment, but it's more used like a gloss stick in my opinion. I could see people wearing this on its own, but for me something that isn't super opaque, I like to have either something underneath or a lip liner. Same goes for glosses. For me, I never wear a gloss on its own because I just like having a more defined lip when I'm wearing a full face of makeup. Because if I'm wearing makeup, I'm always wearing a full face. So I'll show you on my hand here what this looks like. So it reminds me a lot of the uh, gloss sticks, like I said, and it also reminds me of the uh, L'Oreal Color Shine lipstick. So this is beautiful, and I'm going to put this on now. 
So you can tell it's very, very shiny. It's not the perfect match with the lip liner, but that's okay. And I think this is so beautiful. This is such a pretty like spring and summer shade and I love it. I also actually ended up getting one of their little eyeshadow boxes that came with this. This was a set. So here's what the eyeshadows look like. I have played with these at night on my eyes just to kind of see how they work. And I feel like this is the kind of formula that's meant to be kind of sheer and it's not meant to have like a ton of pigment. So for that reason, it's not really up my alley, but I can see people who aren't into super pigmented shadows really liking this. They just have a very, very soft, like sweet texture to them. They also smell really, really nice. They kind of smell like flowers and I just love the little box that it came in. So I'll show you some swatches of the eyeshadows real quick. So you can tell they're definitely pigmented, but when you put them on the eyes, even on top of a sticky base, they kind of fade away a little bit and they're not as vibrant as they are in the box. So it's not really something that I will reach for a lot, but I just thought it was such a cute little collector items. I don't know, like I just thought this box was super cute. And also you need to put the ribbon on it for it to stay together. So obviously it's not the most practical thing in the world, but it's also like the cutest thing in the world. So I don't really care. So I'm really happy to have these though, even if it's not something I'm going to reach for a lot, even just having it, you know, to look at because I like looking at pretty things. So yeah, those were the items from Paul and Joe. And like I said, I really like this lipstick. That is so cute. And quick backstory before this next lipstick. So I went into MAC the other day and there's this really nice guy that I always talk to who works there. And I told him that I'd never tried a MAC lipstick before and I wanted to pick up one and I had no idea what I wanted. So I basically told him, hey, pick up a bullet lipstick for me. I don't care what it is. I don't care what the color is. So he showed me two, he showed me a red one and then he showed me this one. And this is flat out fabulous in the retro matte formula. So this is a matte, very pink lipstick, and I think this is so cute. Like, this is so up my alley. And I'm not gonna lie, I did put this on my lips when I came home that night, but I wanna show you guys because I absolutely love this. So I guess I'm not going to use the lip liner with this because the lip liner is definitely too bright for the color of the lipstick. So I'm just gonna try to put this on as good as I'm able to so you can see the color. So I think this is going to be as good as it's going to get, but this is super, super cute. So I'll show you on my hand as well, even though I already have it on my lips. So, but this is so cute. I love this. I can't wait to wear this. The formula is so comfortable. And I actually wore this for a couple of hours, like I said the other day, and I was drinking and stuff and it didn't transfer that much at all. So it's definitely a very matte lipstick. And for being a bullet, I'm pretty surprised by this because I've never tried a matte bullet formula before because I wasn't sure if I was going to like them, but I like this a lot. So that was definitely a hit and I'm so glad that he picked this out for me. I really doubt that he will ever see this video, but if you do, thank you because I love this. This is so cute. And the next lipstick I want to show you is by Ofra and I also got sent this through Octoly and I love the Ofra liquid lipstick so I knew I was going to like it. And this is in the shade Rendezvous. I think that's how you say it. Please tell me I was right because I don't know, I feel like there's no real other way to say this and I feel like I'm supposed to know what that means, but I don't. I'm gonna put this on and this is very much a kind of dark corally shade and I think this is very unique. So here's what this looks like on. I feel like once you get it on the lips, it looks a lot softer than it does in the tube because when you look at it in the tube, you might be like, oh, that's a very bright lipstick, but I feel like it looks a lot more delicate when you have them on the lips. So I really, really like this. So thank you to Ofer for wanting to send me this through Octoly. I really do appreciate that as well. And honestly, everything that I've got from Octoly, I'm so grateful for. And it's so cool to be able to have this as a way for me to try out new products because obviously buying new makeup and trying new things and trying different formulas for review purposes so you guys can see what's good and what isn't, it gets expensive. So being able to get stuff from Octoly is just so great. So I'm so happy that you guys are so supportive and that you don't mind me doing random Octoly reviews here and there because you know it helps me out a lot and I feel like it probably helps you out a lot too. So it's a win-win for all of us. Next up I have two products that I feel like are going to be super similar and the first one is a lippy sticks from Colourpop and this is in the shade Oh Snap. I bought this because I was watching Angelica's Declutter and she was talking about how much she loves the shade. So I ended up picking it up and it looks to be very kind of mauvey purple, more on like the nude mauvey purple side or like not as mauvey if that makes sense. So I don't know, I'm gonna put this on but I think I'm really going to like this. See, that doesn't look mauvey at all. It kind of looks like, I don't know how to explain that, but it's just a very, very nude lipstick. I love this. 
So I feel like this is very deceptive because the shape definitely doesn't look the same as it does like on the cap. Like, see how much more purple that is when I put it up towards my mouth? And then the lipstick is way neuter. But I don't really mind that at all because I love the shade of this. This is such a beautiful nude and obviously Angelica knows what she's talking about. So I always trust her opinions on most things to be honest. So yeah, I really, really like this. And the next lipstick that I want to swatch is something that I thought was going to be extremely similar. And this is the Zoella and Colourpop collab. And it's in the shade At Me, which is kind of funny. So I just want to swatch the O Snap next to the one that I'm about to put on now, just because when you look up close at these two, like you would think they would be pretty much the same shade, but I don't think they will be. And I don't know if I said this, but this is an ultra matte lipstick, so let's see. Um, I guess they are pretty similar. I will say this one is a little bit more on like the purple mauve side, and the other one is definitely more on the nude brown side, but this is really, really beautiful. I am excited to put this on. So this is beautiful. I love this as well. So far I've been really happy with every single one of these lip products. I think this color is just so cute. I like this a lot. So I do have a gloss though that I want to put on top of this. And this isn't really a gloss, but it's a, a more shine lipstick that I got from Milani. And I did try this on on its own, but it's definitely more of a gloss formula. I don't know why they call it a lipstick. And actually I could be wrong because it says liquid lip color. It doesn't say the lipstick. So Maybe it is a gloss then. And as you can tell, this is still pretty opaque because it did cover up the lipstick underneath pretty nicely. But like I said, when I have something that's very shiny, I do prefer to have something either matte underneath or a lip liner just because it makes the lines around the lips look a lot cleaner and I prefer that look. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the formula on this, but I really like the color and I kind of like the texture of it too. It's not sticky. It's definitely more of like the creamy side. And I will say that the formula is a little bit thick and I'm not the biggest fan of like super thick glosses or super thick creamy anything, but I think the color of this is really nice and this could be like a nice gloss for the summer maybe with just a lip liner underneath. So again, I really, really like this. And this is probably the first Milani lip product I think I've tried. So, so far we're doing pretty good. I will say I'm really not that picky when it comes to lip products. As long as the lip products just don't do weird things on my lips, I'm not really that picky about them because I'm not the kind of person who will wear my lip products for a very long period of time. I will usually always take them off like before eating because I hate eating with lipstick on, especially if I'm at home, like there's just no reason for that. And if I do go out, I usually only wear like a very matte like, lipstick and then I will bring a gloss to top off afterwards. So yeah, I like this. Okay, so the next lip product that I have is also one of those kind of gloss stick kind of products and this is from the Sephora collection because I've heard a lot of people say that these are dupes for the Marc Jacobs gloss sticks and you guys know I like that. So I thought I wanted to try this and I have tried it on my lips once. I did kind of just swatch it like right after I got it and then I took it off after because I just wanted to see what the formula was like. And I do like it. I'm not a huge fan of the applicator on this because it's just like flat and it's very round. Like I prefer things that are a bit slanted when it comes to lip products or like pointed at top, not just like super flat. So I don't know if I would usually wear it. I would probably wear this on a lip liner as well, but I don't really have one that I can show you it with. So I'm just gonna put this on. And this is definitely like a very sheer wash of color. It's kind of more like a, not a tinted lip balm, but like to step up from that, I would say. But it's super creamy and super comfortable and I really like this and I think I'll get a lot of use out of this for the summer because I feel like I use more like light pink lipsticks in the summer and this would be nice to put on top of that. Even just wearing it on its own like this I think looks really nice. So I'm happy I picked this up and I'm happy I tried this formula because like I said, oh, I think this might have like a sharpener in the back. Maybe not. I'm very confused right now because the tip came off but there's nothing inside of either end so I'm like... Why do you have this? Uh, I don't understand, but either way, this was in the shade Q Bella. I hope I said the other shade names. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. So I'm going to take this off and then I have one more lipstick to go and I figured I would end with a liquid lipstick so that I can just keep this on after so I don't have to take off another one. And the last one is an ultra matte lipstick from Colourpop and this was a gift because apparently they sent out my package a bit too late. So this was like a sorry we're late gift. And I love that Colourpop does that because 
I got my package probably like two weeks after I ordered it. Everybody had gotten it by the time I got it. And I thought that was just a nice gesture to say I'm sorry, you know? So let's put this on. This just looks to be a very nice nude. Ooh, this reminds me so much of my Christmas cookie by Jeffree Star. Oh, I think I really like this. I love this. I think the color of this is beautiful and I actually think I want to swatch this next to my Christmas cookie because I feel like they might be pretty close to being dupes. So let's just see now real quick because I'm so curious. Let's do it down here. Ooh, that's very similar to Oh Snap as well, which is in the middle here, but that's a bullet. So actually maybe Oh Snap is going to be similar to Clo to Christmas Cookie too. I don't know. Let's find out. So this is going to be Christmas Cookie by Jeffree Star. This is one of my all-time favorite nude liquid lipsticks. So let's see here. Yeah, I guess they're not completely the same, but I mean, they're in the same family. I want to say Christmas Cookie is a little bit more on the pink side, so it's probably similar to this one, if anything. So I think this shade is actually probably a better nude for me because it doesn't lean that pink. So I like this a lot. Do I want to put a gloss on top of this? I feel like I do. I'm not really a fan of wearing the ultra matte lipsticks by ColourPop on their own, so I'm going to put a ColourPop gloss on top of, and this is Finder's Keeper. So yeah, this will sum up my second lip swatching video. I feel like I'm going to have way more of these coming as well. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed the first one. I thought it was the kind of video that would just like flop and nobody would watch because like who wants to watch someone put on lipsticks? But I guess you guys do. So thank you for that. I appreciate it because these are so much fun to make and they're also really fun to edit and they're easy to film. So yeah, I think that will sum up the lip swatching portion of this video. Let me know down below which one was your favorite. I think if I had to pick one just from like the color itself, I probably want to say the Ofra liquid lipstick because I just, I love this shade. I think this is so beautiful and so fun for summer as well. So I think that is going to be my favorite. But like I said, I like all of these. I think they are all stunning and beautiful and I just like lip products so much. It's one of those makeup items that just makes me really happy, you know, and I feel like I can never have too many of them, even if I will never get around to using them. They just make me happy. So yeah, let me know down below which one was your favorite and if you've tried any of these and if you love them and if you don't love them, that's totally okay too, because I would love to know. And thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.